everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Sarah Stanani. This is The Green Alternative, where I replicate cute and trendy looks with more sustainable options for everyday wear. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you, thank you. And also, if this is your first time here, check out my intro video just so you have a better idea of why I'm here and what I'm talking about. And then subscribe. So it's another week and another trend. How much fun was my pink trend video? I had so much fun researching it um, just because I had so many options to pick from. And if you follow me on Instagram at The Green Alternative, I, I've been posting like 10 to 15 stories every day of just all pink. Pink dresses, pink shoes, pink bags, because that's all I see on my feed. Like, it really is everywhere and I keep posting to show the relevance of the trend and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon and I'm excited to see it trickle down into fall and winter. It's just a fun trend. Now for this week, I have another fun trend that is also a throwback. Most trends are throwbacks. They're all just recycled and upcycled. But this one's very cute and it's perfect for fall. I cannot believe fall is in two weeks. Like, I don't understand. I don't like it. <sighs> Whatever. Bring on the pumpkin spice, I guess. That being said, I do love fall. <laughs> fall is my favorite season. Especially, like, back home in Georgia. I'm from Atlanta. I just love... I love the smell of fall. I don't even know if that's a thing. But, like, I love the breeze. And I love the sound of the leaves. Like, under my feet. I love all the marigolds and the mustards and the maroons. It's just nice. So yes, this trend is perfect for fall. It actually went viral on TikTok. It is the sweater vest trend. It's a throwback to the 90s, which we are all obsessed with right now. And it actually gained a lot of attention last year in 2020 because it was all over the runway. Prada, Gucci, Dior, Marc Jacobs, they all featured this nerdy chic knit in all of their collections. And then of course that trickled down into Instagram and then went viral on TikTok. And now we're seeing it on the runway for spring and fall 2022. With sweater vests in fun, bright colors and typically in a layered look, but we also saw it on its own as well. Now, even though sweater vests garnered most of the attention, vests in general were seen on multiple runways this season. We saw a lot of utility vests with lots of pockets and puffer vests, which you'll be seeing a lot of this fall and winter. Layered looks are always fun in colder seasons, and a vest is a great way to add some dimension and style to your looks. It wasn't all about functionality though. We also saw some vests in fun colors and prints as well. The sweater vest just got more attention because as I mentioned, we're obsessed with the 90s right now. And in the 90s, we would see celebrities like Brad Pitt wear it. And then we saw it in movies like Clueless and then shows like Fresh Prince of Bel Air and Friends of course. So I will be focusing on the sweater vest, but I threw in a denim look just for fun. So let's get to it. First look, we're going to be starting with Kendall Jenner's sweater vest look. This look actually got a lot of attention because she's wearing a sweater vest from Mango and it was affordable at $50, so everybody wanted to get their hands on it. Um, but Mango, though, as a brand, isn't that great. They use some sustainable fabrics, but not nearly enough. And they don't disclose a lot about their um, labor rights or animal welfare practices. So, kind of sus. But not to worry, because I have a great greener alternative for you. Let's break it down. So in this look, Kendall is wearing a sweater vest from Mango, which is $50, and then she's wearing a Arquette tuxedo shirt, 
which is $75, and then she's wearing Bella Freud chinos for $265. And then her shoes are Arquette Chunky Loafers, and those are $205. And then her bag is the Burberry Olympia bag in Juniper Green, and it's $2,090. Her sunglasses are Les Specs. She wears a lot of Les Specs. She loves them. They're $54. And then her, she has a little locket. And it's from Parter Fan, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's $270. All right, so let's start with the sweater vest. So for some reason, a lot of um, sustainable brands aren't really producing many sweater vests. Uh, other than like the trendy ones like Reformation. But I really wanted to show you guys a new brand. So I was really excited when I found this brand. It's called Wool and the Gang. This cozy crochet knit sweater vest is multicolored just like Kendall's and all the colors are perfect for fall. It's just under a hundred at $98. Now there's a twist. So the cool thing about Wool and the Gang is that you're actually buying a crochet kit. So instead of buying a sweater vest, you're actually getting a kit to make it yourself. And you can actually make it in any color that you want. That's why they're showing all of these colors. But this kit specifically comes with these three colors. And it also shows you pictures of different color options just for inspiration if you do wanna pick another color. So, so cute. And then if you scroll down, it tells you all the contents of the kit. So it'll tell you exactly what kind of knits you'll be learning, like the granny stitch. It'll tell you the colors that are in this kit. It'll tell you the size and the amount of hours it'll take you. And then it'll also tell you the type of knits that you'll be mastering, like these three right here, which is so cool for anybody in your life that's been telling you they want to get into knitting and learning it and this kit will just provide you with every single color and the exact amount that you need it'll come with the vest pattern that you can follow along and then this one comes in the happy cotton and then of course it gives you more details on that like this is a cotton that's handpicked in Peru then it gives you facts and just how to maintain the fabric, how to wash it, and just how to make sure it stays in your wardrobe for as long as possible. What a cool gift idea. And now, we can all be as cool as Tom Daly. I love it when a brand gives you so much information about the product. It just shows that they themselves care what they're putting into the garment and they want you to care. And as a consumer, I feel like when you're, when you're reading all of this stuff, you're just like, oh wow, you know, like you wanna learn how to maintain it and how to make it keep its value for as long as it can. And it just makes you cherish it a lot more. <laughs> so you know how my name is a little hard to pronounce? Well, it's not really hard, it's just, it's different. So I always tell people, you know, I'm like, hi, my name is Sarish. And then like they attempt to say it and I see the struggle in their face. And then I just say, Sarish, like cherish, and they're just like, ah, and then everything just clicks, you know? See, now this all makes sense. <laughs> all right, so now for the white button down that she has layered under the sweater vest. So Kendall opted for the layered look. She's, la she's layering, and Kendall opted for the layered look. Sh sh She's wearing the Arquette tuxedo shirt for $75. And Arquette is actually owned by Hennis and Mortise, which is H&M. And they do a pretty good job of being transparent and um, disclosing a lot of information about the process and the materials. And they do use some sustainable organic fabrics, but they still run as a fast fashion company. Like they have a, like, a heavy turnover rate for all of their inventory. And also, almost none of its supply chain is certified by the labor standards, which is the department that ensures a living wage and just looks, looks after um, worker health and safety regulations, which H&M is notorious for. They suck at it. So staying away from Arquette for now, they do have like hefty goals about reducing their 
greenhouse emissions. So let's see if they actually do anything about it. But for now, staying away, but keeping a hopeful eye. So a white button down is a wardrobe essential and you're gonna get a lot of wear out of it. Wear out of it. So <laughs> try to invest in a good quality one. Like I've had maybe a handful over the years and now I have none. They were all fast fashion brands and I just feel like they very easily turn like a yellowish tint and they stain very easily under the arm. And if they don't stain, then they start to pill under the arm or like fade. And so I was actually looking for myself too when I came across this brand. The brand is Beaumont Organic and the name of the shirt is the Celia Organic Cotton and Tensile Shirt. It's on sale right now for $87.50, which is about $120. Now, this piece is definitely something you should have in your wardrobe. If you don't already have one, this one is great. It has great reviews, and it'll just last in your wardrobe for so long that it'll just make it worth it. You can wear it with the buttons open and a cute crop top inside. You can tie up the bottom and wear it to the beach. Like, there are just so many options, and this will definitely stay in your wardrobe because of the organic cotton and the tensile. They just last very, very long. So... Great piece for your wardrobe. It's definitely a staple and it's just a must have. All right, so working our way down, Kendall is wearing Bella Freud wide leg trousers for $265. I love olive. I consider it a neutral. And these trousers and the color, they're both just perfect for fall. And the green alternative that I found you is from this brand Loop. And for all my working girls out there that actually have to go into the office, bookmark this brand because they have really cute trousers and slacks and blouses and they have like some printed blazers and it's just it's cute office attire just like these olive chinos they're 172 dollars we're staying on trend with the wide leg cut super versatile looks great with heels with wedges with flats or sneakers this is made out of 98% cotton and 2% spandex to give you that stretch and that movability that we love with our bottoms. And everything at Loop is locally made in New York City, which means less shipping back and forth, which means less air pollution and cutting back on greenhouse gas emissions. And Loop is also very size inclusive, with sizes running from extra extra small to 3x. And they actually make their products to fit curvier women, which we love. I also love that they're a small company and pride themselves in that. They want to remain small so they can continue to be local and just focus on the product and being as transparent as possible. Now for the shoes, Kendall is wearing the Chunky Soul Loafers from Arquette again, and they're $205. And the green alternative that I found you, they're from a brand called Nay. It's a completely vegan brand, and these chunky loafers are made from their eco-friendly vegan leather which is made from a mix of microfibers, including recycled cotton, polyester, and nylon. They're $145, breathable and water resistant. They're also manufactured in a system free of CO2 emissions, which is amazing. And then in addition to being hypoallergenic, they are also antibacterial and antimicrobial, which helps prevent the development of odors, which is great for any close-toed shoes. They're handcrafted beautifully in Portugal in a fair work environment. This brand specializes in shoes and carries some belts and wallets as well, but they have a lot of cute shoes. Ooh, especially these. These Sandra platforms, super cute, and these will work perfectly with the look that we're doing right now as well. Cute, cute, cute. Now for the accessories, so Kendall is wearing the Olympia bag from Burberry in this beautiful green color that's perfect for fall. And the bag that I found you is a crossbody and not the usual shoulder bag that I've been covering, but it's perfect for fall. It's from Angela Roy. It's sleek, it's classic. This style will never go out of style. So it truly is an investment piece. And it's pretty big, it can fit an iPad mini. So again, perfect for work or traveling comes in different colors. It's also out of stock right now. So if you like what you see, go ahead and put your name on the wait list. It's $145. It's made out of vegan leather and by skilled craftsmen in Korea. 
cruelty free and sweatshop free. And at Angela and Roy, they pride themselves on committing to no child labor, providing fair wages, and creating a great work environment. Check, check, and check. And then she's wearing a locket. I feel like lockets are so precious. I think that's a good word for them. I wonder if she actually has a picture inside of them. Do people still even do that? So I couldn't find a locket, but I did find this pendant necklace that's in a similar shape. It's from a brand called Able that I covered in my pink trend video as well. It's a simple little pendant necklace that you can get personalized as well with your initial. It's for $50 and it's a cute dainty piece that you can wear every single day. Now to complete the look, we are going to end with some sunglasses from Eco. Now I usually always go to Aquila. If you guys watch my videos, you guys know. But this is a very similar brand. Very trendy. As you can see, these are 135 in this pretty nude color, oval, slightly cat-eyed. And like Aquila, they do something similar where one frame is one tree. Every time you buy a frame, they plant a tree. And they have planted over 2.5 million so far. Really cool brand. And they're very chic and trendy. Now for the second look, we're going in another direction and we're going to feature a denim vest. Bella Hadid does a great job of showcasing all the different types of vests that are trending right now. Like the leather vests, the more utility vests, she wears a puffer vest, and then the denim vest, which is the one that we're gonna be replicating today. Now I can go either way on denim vests, and usually it's a no for me, unless it's closed in the front, or if it's like a Canadian tuxedo look. I love a good denim on denim look. And of course, Bella looks like a goddess in everything she wears. I feel like Bella could change my mind on certain trends. <laughs> She's actually my favorite person to watch right now when it comes to style. She has this like effortless layering that she does and it's just so interesting to watch and I feel like it's her style. I don't think it's a stylist. I'm sure a stylist helps but I feel like a lot of it is Bella. Anyway, in this look, Bella is wearing the denim vest which is from EB and it's $275 and then she's wearing Levi jeans that are $61.98. Um, she's wearing the Adidas Original Wales Boner Samba Suede Leather and Mesh sneakers, which are 130 And then she's wearing a blue denim shirt from Tommy Hilfiger and a Louis Vuitton Panda Monogram Pouchette, which is 884 to like 1500 online right now. Alright, so let's start with the denim vest. The green alternative that I found you is from this brand, Boyish. It's the Milo vest for $88, and it's in a more cropped look, which is perfect for when you want to repurpose it and wear it on its own in the summertime. It's in a medium dark wash and made with recycled cotton, which helps to reduce carbon emissions and water usage. And on the bottom here, you can see the positive impact of this product. So it tells you how many days worth of drinking water you've saved, how many pounds of waste you've diverted from a landfill, how many miles of emissions you've avoided, and one tree that you've planted. Yay you! All of the materials used at Boyish aim to reduce their CO2 emissions, like their vegan denim, their certified organic cotton, 
their recycled cotton, and they also used dead stock fabric that never made the cut. Making clothes from dead stock fabric saves about 10,000 pounds of CO2 emissions each year. Love that. So for the jeans, I actually found the same exact pair that Bella is wearing. They're the Levi's Premium High Loose Jeans. They're in this great dark wash for fall and they're on sale for $61.98. Super on trend, high-waisted look, classic 90s style. And they're part of their sustainable collection because they're made out of cotton and hemp. So something really cool that Levi's has started to do is they're making a lot of their denim with cottonized hemp. And hemp requires less water and fewer pesticides, which supports healthier soil and cleaner water. Another really cool thing that Levi's is doing is they have this new secondhand program, also known as their trade-in program. And it's Levi's way of keeping their coveted jeans in circulation and out of landfills. And as you guys know, here at The Green Alternative, we advocate for anything and everything that keeps your old clothes out of landfills. So here's how it works. So the first thing you have to do is get all your Levi's jeans, denim shorts, and trucker jackets that you no longer want, and then book a trade-in appointment. They only accept up to five items per appointment. Then once you get in, you check in with your Levi's stylist, who then processes your trade-ins. And the next thing you do is you get a Levi's gift card for the value of your trade-in. Just make sure everything that you're turning in is still wearable. Then you can read more about what they accept and the conditions that they accept it in. And then the trade-in value. So the trade-in credits range from 5 to 35 dollars based on your item's age, condition, and original retail price. Down here they have a little breakdown. As you can see, so premium Levi collection um, for the trucker jackets is 35, jeans 30, and denim shorts 20. For vintage clothing, which is anything made over 20 years ago, same price breakdown. And then the more current your jeans are, the lesser the value for them. And honestly, more and more brands are going to start doing this because this is the best way to keep clothes in circulation and for consumers to get new clothes without throwing out old clothes. And it's just a great system. So try to take advantage of it and you can find a trade-in location near you. Just click on the link and make an appointment. All right, now for this turtleneck, which you probably won't be wearing for a while because it's still kind of hot, um, but it's a great color, a great nude, and I feel like you'll get a lot of wear out of it come late fall and winter. This beautiful ribbed long sleeve turtleneck is from a brand called Bell & Tony. It's made out of tensile and of course right on brand. They tell you how many gallons of water you're saving and that it's 90% biodegradable. It's right under $100 at 90 and the eco recipe, I love that, I'm gonna use that all the time now. The eco recipe is 90% lensing tensile modal and there's 10% spandex to give you that comfortable stretch. Everything at Bell & Tony is made to order. Like we've talked about before with other brands, made to order is a great way to produce product because this way you have an accurate forecast of demand and that way there is less waste post-production love that love that they also have sleeveless turtlenecks which is great for if you want to wear blazers or jackets to work you don't want to get too hot super cute style great neutral colors and a great sustainable brand now, I'm very excited about this denim shirt. It's from Tommy Hilfiger, and I found the exact one that Bella is wearing, and when I saw this price, I was just like, I found it on this vintage site called Shop Exile. It's the Tommy Hilfiger denim shirt from the 90s, just like Bella's. You can wear it buttoned up on its own, or you can wear it as a layer. Now, for the best part. Are you ready? Are you ready? 
It's only twenty five eighty. Go babies, go babies, go babies, go babies, go babies, go. Yes, I'm very, very excited. Every garment here is authentic, vintage, and one of a kind. And this one is in very good vintage condition. Love, love, love. I was so excited when I found this. You can see the measurements down here and see if it works for you. Such a cool website. I'm going to look into it a little bit more and see what other goodies they have, and I will report back. Now for the shoes... I'm also very excited about these. It's the Modelo 89 sneakers from Say. And they come in caramel. Caramel or caramel? I think it's caramel. I'm gonna say caramel. <laughs> They're very similar to Bella's. Very cute, also unisex, and of course, completely vegan. I love how this company puts so much detail into every single part of their shoe like the upper which is made out of recycled vegan napa that is made out of discarded garments and their lining which is also recycled and made out of plastic bottles and other articles that are thrown away into recycling containers the insole which is removable is also made out of recycled polyurethane and even down to their laces they they put down that it's certified organic cotton so i just love the attention to detail here and they're PETA approved vegan love that as well super cool brand and i love these sneakers i'm sure i'm going to be using them again for sure very very cute now for the final piece the bag now if you want to look for the panda monogram puchette online like at a consignment shop you can totally do that it's probably anywhere from like 900 to 1500 but i'm here to introduce you to exciting sustainable brands so i dug a little deeper and i found this cutie cutie batuti alert over at hyper goods <laughs> it's the mini shoulder bag in this great neutral tan color and she's made out of upcycled leather scraps. She's a bit pricey at 195, so it's definitely a splurge item, but it's also an investment piece because of its versatility and classic style. This bag will become your new go-to for any look and any occasion. And you'll be supporting a really, really great brand. All hypergoods are made from eco leather sourced from genuine leather scraps. And due to the nature of leather and recycled materials, each piece may contain variation in color, grain, and other textural marks, which just makes each piece all the more special and all the more unique. Plus, another bonus is that 1% of all net sales support a monthly mission charity. This month's charity is Children's Without Borders, providing urgent crisis relief to the innocent families and children that have been displaced in Afghanistan. If you want to learn more about the crisis and where your money is really going, just click on the link. Some other missions from previous months have been with the World Health Organization, No Kid Hungry, the NAACP, and the Okra Project. Alright guys, now for the final look. Keeping it cash in this laid back sweater vest look. This is very much my vibe. Can you tell? If you don't know her already, this is Negan Mirzalehi. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. And so gorgeous. And she's also a boss. She is the founder of her own hair care brand called Gizu. I love all her fits. She's always on point. And in this look, she's wearing... Her vest is from Zara. It's around $40. Um, she's wearing all-star high-top canvas sneakers, which are about 60 bucks. And her white tee is from Cost for $40. And she's wearing rings from Orium, which are about $300 each. For the black sweater vest, we're going to my favorite, Etsy. Um, in my last video, I explained Etsy a little bit and I used Etsy a lot and I will continue to use Etsy. And this shop is super cute and she specializes in knits. The shop's name is Gian Crobeline, I believe. And it's exactly what we're looking for. Black soft v-neck knit sweater vest. 
cute and comfy and it's handmade one of the many perks of Etsy it's $34.98 then if you scroll down her shop has so many options for sweater vests all very very cute this green one actually Bella was wearing something very very similar to it super cute shop now for her jeans, um, you can honestly wear any style of jeans that you already have because it's such a laid back look. But she's wearing more of a cropped, relaxed, straight cut. And the alternative that I found you is from DL 1961. These are the Patty Straight High Rise Vintage Ankle Jeans. The most sustainable jeans on earth. What? What? <laughs> It's the first time I'm seeing that. I'll have to fact check that. But I have heard great things about DL 1961. And I know they are very, very sustainable and a very thoughtful company. These are $189. Very relaxed fit with a distressed bottom. Super comfy and a great wash. The DL Vintage is made from certified cotton and clean dyes. Everything checks our list, water conservation, eco-friendly fibers, they have an efficient process, and a vertical supply chain. Check, 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 check. So Negan is wearing the all-star high top sneakers. So most Converse sneakers are vegan friendly, and they do use some sustainable materials, but not all. And they do also continue to use animal products in some of their leather and suede sneakers. And they only pay minimum wage, which isn't always living wage. And I just feel like being such a giant company, which is owned by Nike, the least you can do is pay your workers a living wage. So they do have some sustainable sneakers and they are vegan friendly, but I would like to shine a light on a brand that is doing all the right things. And it's a brand called Etico. Now, as you can see, they look just like Converse's. Except you'll stand out a little bit more and I guarantee you someone's going to ask you what these are. They are the Etico High Top Black and White Organic Fair Trade Sneakers. Just under $100, coming in hot at $87.19. Don't worry, I won't dance this time. And they're made radically different than any other sneaker. The soles are made from natural latex rubber tapped fresh from a rubber tree. And the organic cotton canvas and laces are hand-stitched by certified fair trade employees. Plus, they use zero animal glues and non-toxic dyes. They even come in a shoebox made of post-consumer waste. Super thoughtful sneakers, great company, and cute shoes. And I love their motto, wear no evil. Now for the jewelry, Negan is wearing... Uh, Orium, which are like $300 a pop for her rings and she loves stacking rings and so a great brand that has a lot of great options that are stackable as well is Able. All the jewelry from this video is from Able so I'm clearly a fan and the first ring we're going to start with is the beam ring. It's for $50, simple, very stackable, you can also personalize it and get it engraved and it's 14 karat gold fill. The second ring is the Mod Dome ring. This one is $60. It's a little thicker. You can still wear it every single day. Super, super cute and very stackable. Now for the cuff, we're going with the Chunky Cuff Bracelet for $40. Simple, cute, 18 karat gold plated with a brass core. Super dainty. You can also stack this. I actually have this one. I wear it all the time. It's great for everyday wear. And there you have it folks, three chic and green looks in the sweater vest trend that you can style in your own fun, unique and gorgeous way. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, hit that like button and that little bell right next to it and follow me on Instagram at The Green Alternative, and I will see you next time. Bye.